Welcome to Making Your First Animation. I'm Mr. Jamie, and this is Chapter 5, Scene Mode. Now, obviously, the first thing you want to do is click Mode and go to Scene. That little thing you see in the top right corner is the camera. Go to View and All. Let's select the camera, and we're going to rotate it with your Rotate tool so it points straight ahead. Now we need to go up to Build, and we're going to go to Add Figure, Figures, and select our robot from the list and click OK. And now we need our Move tool, and we're going to move our robot up to the top, but before we finish doing that, we need to turn on the animation key. That's a key at the bottom. Click it so it turns green, then finish moving your robot to the top right corner. Now go over to front view and we need to move our robot up until he's standing on the grid and not going through it, nor above it. Once we've got that, we're good there. Now we need to rotate him. So rotate tool, right mouse button and top view. Rotate him so he faces down to that bottom corner. I think that's good. All right, now we need to go to our timeline at the bottom. We're going to click the long line that's halfway between 3 and the end. And here we're going to get our move tool, and we're going to move our robot forward most of the way down the page. Something like that is good. All right. Now we need our rotate tool just because I'm using right mouse button. I'm just straightening him out because he's not quite facing the right way. All right, good. Now we need to go down to our timeline, and we're going to click the very last frame of our timeline. And with our rotate tool again, we're going to rotate the robot so it faces straight off to the left. Now we need our move tool, and we're going to move them a bit to the left. Just a little bit. That's all we need there. All right, good. Now we need to come, and we need to rewind. Hit that rewind button there and then hit your select arrow and select the camera. Get your move tool. We're going to move the camera right in front of the robot and in front view you can move it down. So in top view move it in front of the robot, front view move it down and position it so the robot is nicely squared in the camera. Now come to your timeline, click that same spot halfway between 3 and the end and move the camera again so the robot's squarely in front of it. Like that. Now we need to come to the very last frame and actually, we just want to make sure the robot goes off the camera that's out of the green line. It doesn't actually have to be completely out of camera view. So now you can play it and rewind it all the way and watch him walk. All right, now it's time to use that sequence we made. Go down to the bottom, click that plus, then click the plus next to world, scroll down, and click the plus next to figure 01. Actually, you probably don't need to click that plus. Click Build, Add Sequence, select Walking, click OK. Move ahead on the timeline to the next line after the last dot. Click Build, Add Sequence, click Walking, OK. And then now our robot should walk the whole way. If we hit Play, we'll see him walk. Find it, hit Play. There he goes. Yay, he walks. Yay. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's go and finalize things. Make sure camera view is selected. So click on camera view to be sure. Click, in fact, we're going to go view camera. That's the best way to make sure. We're going to go to settings, environment, and where that first color is, we're going to click the dot, 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 change gray over to a nice light blue for our sky. Once we've done that, we can click OK and click OK. Now we're ready to render, so we go to render, we're going to render movie, render image will give you still pictures, we want render movie, come on, click it, okay, now we need to click the dot 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 next to file, that'll open up your file system, find the place where you want to save your movie, and then at the bottom give it a name, and then click save. La -dee -da -dee -da. Okay, click OK. It's running a little slower than I'd like. 
And another box should have come up there that didn't on this for some reason. But when that other box comes up, it'll say full frames uncompressed. Click OK there. And then it will run your movie and make a movie file. When it's done, you can go to your documents and find the spot where you saved the movie and you can watch it. And then next week or next time, we will learn how to add sound and different things to our movie. That's all for today.